in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Hello there everyone, starting off this video a bit differently. I was sort of between recording sessions for one episode to the next, and I was doing various different grinds. I've been doing Tithe Farm, my farming's up to 59 now. I'm saving for the herb box, I have 175 points, or 170 maybe, and I need 250, so getting there slowly. I also did a little bit of Slayer, so I'm up to 55 now, I can wield Broad Bolts, a Wilderness Slayer mainly, and a tiny bit of Jellies, and a little bit of Defense training there. The thing I'm doing now though, I was thinking about trying to farm some more Prayer Robes, from easy clues and I thought before I do that I should probably go and do the easy combat tier because then we'll get 5% more easy clues from this so that'll just make that whole process better and yeah we're not far off seven points I had a giant uh, mossy key even so I thought fuck it we'll start off with briar fighter if we can kill her with prey mage active that's one task and if we can also get the final hit with poison that will be another I figured I may as well give it a go with my dragon dagger here not likely to get it but we'll see oh we have got a poisoned so I want to get it down to like five or awesome, ideally because it'll take down the nice thing is poison hits even when these guys are out though so they're never gonna stop the kill i don't really feel comfortable hitting that maybe i'll dds oh shit i've got all the retaliation okay definitely leaving it there there it is fuck all on the drop very disappointing Two tasks done though, that means that we only have five points left to go. I haven't really looked through these, I'm just gonna pick the ones that kill a fire giant in... Yeah, I'll kill one of each giant in Shazian, that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Oh wait, we got a hundred cosmic runes! I completely blanked on that. That wasn't a bad drop at all, because those are still annoying to get to me, that's five world hops, so... Yeah, finish off a greater demon with a demon bane weapon and want to kill a greater demon. So if we do both of these and both the giant tasks, that will pose just one point away. I mean, there's greater demons here. It's not where I meant to come, but there's greater demons, so I guess we'll go kill one. What? Oh, it's a Slayer dungeon. I came to the wrong place. Okay, that, I don't know what my max is of this weapon, so I don't want to risk it. It's the first time using broad bolts, so... Oh, look at that. Silverlight doing work. Two in one. Is the one for killer Bloodveld as well? I don't know if we can. Oh, we can. I didn't know if we had the slay level, but I guess we do. Pretty sure there's a task killing a Bloodveld. I'll we'll find out. Demonic punching bag, maybe? Oh. I guess there wasn't a task. Either that or we already got it. Yeah, we did already get it. I'm done. Uh, there was one for a black dragon. Just need one more. Just one for a fire giant. And for the other giants, one more task. Okay, I think if we can get a Hellhound, that'll be our last one. Very nice. And that is the easy tier of the combat achievements all finished up. I can now go and claim my rewards, and this is one of the exceptions from the League's rule set. Because in Leagues, you can just claim them from a guy that stands in Lumbridge called the Sage. Same guy who gives you a dream and stuff when you start out, so we work around that by just allowing Gommel to go get our prize. But again, there's reiteration. Can't go in here. Just talk to this guy. Let's go. We got an antique lamp. Before I use it, I'm going to get out of the disgusting zone. Uh, we've got a Trollheim teleport we can never use. I don't think this does anything else at the minute. Yeah, it's got three daily Trollheim teleports. And uh, no other purpose. So I guess we'll drop that. 
and we will rub this lamp for some herblore XP. Thank you very much. And that was basically all I wanted to do on cam for now, because now I can go grind out some more easy clues and hopefully get some more vestments to make my AFK training more efficient. But I did get a Laren's Keith while I was doing some Wildy Slayer. So why don't we just go turn that in? Daily runes while we're here. Might just set this to claim. Chaos runes. Garbage. Man. That's a lame drop. 115k. Like, it's not bad. There's probably worse drops. It's very unexciting. I don't need money at all right now. I haven't even got through all that alkin yet, but just because I don't really have any need for money at the minute. I basically just sold an energy potion for 115k. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's a good deal. Alright, do I have any clues? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and hunt down some clues and stack up a few caskets, I think, if I can. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Hopefully, I'll have a, a big, nice stack of easy caskets to crack open. I can't be asked to set up a green screen for two casket openings, but I'm too impatient not to open them, and I think I'm gonna stop anyway because it's painfully slow. And painfully unrewarding. Well, folks, it has been a couple of days. I've been kind of procrastinating from the defense terrain, and I can't lie. It's uh, it's rough to find a world for Sulfonic Goos. It's been super busy recently, so that's kind of sucked. But yeah, I'm up to 79 now, and that's a super awkward number. But getting another level when I can just try it and see if it's good enough, like... I don't want to have to spend two more hours at the Sulfonagua. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Hoping I can actually start farming this today. And I also got myself a rune full helm. Ended up getting it from Scurrius. I saw on his drop table that a uh, rune full helm was only like a 1 in 16. So I went and did like 5 kills, 4 kills even. Got one. So that's an extra plus 11 in every melee defense over the Addy. It's actually a bigger upgrade than I was expecting, so I'm pretty happy about that one. I'm thinking that should make a, a reasonable bit of difference as well as the extra levels we've been grinding. Hopefully this should be relatively smooth. But of course I've been saying that every time we've come here and it's never been smooth. So yeah, probably wrong about this one too. Fingers crossed there. I haven't set my quick prize up. I mean, hit me a lot of this phase. What the fuck? Where's my extra defense? This feels a little slow. I think I'm just getting unlucky on my hits because it, it's not usually this bad from memory. I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little slower than I was expecting. Of course, I haven't been leveling up my offensive skills, which is weird as hell, having to do defense first. But I just feel like it's so necessary here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any better weapon. Uh, I was looking and searching for anything that could be fortic and reasonably comparable, but there's just nothing. Really nothing. I was thinking about Leaf-Bladed Sword, like I would have been happy with that, but we can't actually get to Turoths or Kurasks in our regions. Even though I do now have the level for Turoths, we don't. We don't have access to them, so we can't get a leaf blade of sword, unfortunately. Spear is two-handed, so we don't want that one. Because we need the shield for the extra defense. Dragon sword is one, but it comes from a worm's, uh, I think, a 1 in 20,000 drop rate. If you're not on Slayer task for them. And given the fact that we are basically locked to Wilderness Slayer, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but I will grind it out when we unlock worms. Like, it's just something that's going to have to be done. Because I think the Dragon Sword is actually a solid weapon for us. But yeah, we're not at that level yet, so... I also finally got sick of not knowing which of my Moonlight Potions are full. So I hit them with a, an inventory tag. So I can just see like a little outline on the full ones. Super helpful. Especially when I'm doing grinding sessions at Nagua. And I'm just trying to like see which ones are full. And which need combining. When you make like a full event. Jesus. The blue moon is so easy. That was one phase. This is by far the easiest one of the three. Just so quick with the hammers. The extra flat damage that they take from every hit spot. The accuracy of crush. 
Oh, robbed of it. Right, time to top up on food again. All right, time for the scary one. A couple nice specs to start. I'm just not going to say anything because I feel like I always jinx it. Oh my gosh. That felt so much smoother. I mean, it could just be RNG because a lot of that fight is down to RNG. So I'm not going to read into it until I got a couple more under my belt. But look at that. Only one potion sank through the fight, which shows how short it was compared to usual. I only ate a few food. That was, that was super chill. If it's like that every time, I am very comfortable to farm this now, which is exactly where I wanted to be. So... Thank you for those extra defense levels and the rune fall for finally apparently making a difference. Why am I going to her? We're going here for some water orbs and some clay. That was chest number eight. Let's bash a bunch of these out. I kind of feel like I don't even need to stock up on food between them if I've still got a decent amount left because I only will eat a few per fight at this stage from what I've seen. But I might regret that. We'll see. If I die, then... Uh, it's because I'm an idiot and I'm not stocking up. Man, I feel like this one hits me more than anything now. It's crazy. This one's the slowest by far. I mean, I'm not using an actual stab weapon. It's a, a slashing sword with a stab mode on it. But I don't have a good stab weapon, so... I suppose I could try a leaf-bladed spear just to see how it feels. I don't hate that idea. But we did have worse defense here, so it might not be the best idea to go without a shield. A dragon short sword would solve so many problems, but five tick attack speed is just not it. My gosh, I am badly in need of a one-handed four tick weapon. That was definitely worse than the first one, but still a lot better than it has been previously. Still got out of it with resources, so... Chest number nine. Definitely think we had some real good RNG on that first fight of the day here because it has been a lot tougher the second and third times. We are still taking a decent amount of hits and it's causing it to heal up and that makes the fight slower. Kind of not a lot we can do though. Like endlessly grinding defense levels isn't really that good value for time, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We haven't had any, like, danger points since, really, since we came back today, but it is still slow to get through some of those. I'm considering trying the Sulfur Blades. I know we wouldn't have the Rune Kite Shield, so that'd be minus 48 defense in that fight, for example. I'm wondering if the fact that it's a 4 tick attack speed might just be enough to make up for it. I'll take 28 grimy Harolanders with a smile on my face though. If you're not going to give me uniques, then herbs are the best thing. That's the first one I've had today. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might go try with Sulfur Blades. Oh fuck, I forgot my shield. When I came back with the Sulfur Blades and shit. It would only be for this fight, but I... I'll Damn it, I did not realise that. The first phase felt alright, but that phase was painful. Okay, this will be the first attempt with the Sulphur Blades at these levels. Unfortunately, they do share an attack style with the Dragon Longsword, Longsword so I still have to switch it between Stab and Slash every time. It's a bit unfortunate, but... Well, so far we've been hit 100% of the time. Yeah, that, that did not feel good. Which I sort of expected. But yeah, we were getting hit a lot there. A lot, a lot. I mean, our DPS is good, but it's just healing more. I reckon if we had the Dragon Plate legs, maybe like 85 defense or something. Not that I'm planning on this, but I reckon if we had those, then Sulphur Blades would just be better here because the DPS is better. But right now, I'm just taking too much damage for it to be worth it. Okay. That might have actually been slightly quicker. I'm not sure. I don't feel like we used too many supplies there either, but I'm having mixed feelings. Chest number 11. Not 
I'll take two maple seeds. I'm not too mad about that. Pretty disappointing, Chester. Doing a one. Number 12, I think. Okay, this isn't terrible, but it is still slower than I thought. It's like a 20 minute kill, like a trip time, maybe. It maybe even slightly longer, which isn't ideal. So I just kind of want to go and try something that I'm fairly certain isn't going to go well, but just to see how it is. Because if it does go all right, then it could be a potential way to get dragon plate legs, which maybe could allow us to use these sulfur blades a little more effectively. Because the kills were quicker, we were just taking more damage, so it was more dangerous. Well, I'm not expecting this to go well at all, like I say, but I'm going to try the Colosseum and just see how the opening few waves feel. Because, starting from wave 3, you have a 1 in 70 chance to get dragon player legs that goes up the deeper you get into it. But if we could, like, get to wave 3 without any trouble, then I can keep doing that. I'm happy to, to like, grind a little bit for that, if it's not rough. But I don't even know if we'll be able to do one wave. It's going to be tough. And yeah, I don't have any ancients, so I can't like freeze the warband or anything i don't even have range pots <laughs> uh, I, i've just figured i'd just bring one weapon type because it's probably just not gonna go well is it i, I just i can't see this at all being feasible but let's see okay well i'll go for that because i'm not using any anyway just trying to keep moving here Because they only attack you when they're actually in melee range. I should attack uh, Seer first, because I'm guaranteed max hits on him. Okay. I'll get this one out of the way. Oh, Jaguar spawned. That's not ideal, is it? I think he gets trapped on the corner. Perfect. Okay. Wave 1 solved. That wasn't too rough. Probably should just bring Mage, to be honest. It'll be more accurate against the majority of these enemies. I, I should probably just bring one of each weapon type, to be fair. My range level is pretty low, though. So. Okay, wave 1 down. I think that's fine from what I remember. I'm going to try this. Okay, so I'm going to be tanking this mage the entire time at the minute, which is not ideal. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I'm dead. No, I'm not. The fact that he just shot upwards probably just saved my life there. Woo! Okay, so if I remember right, the way to do this is... Like that. Oh no, I took a hit and I'm going to take another. That could have been bad. Okay, that did not work. Let me try again. I think I just pray range to be safe. Why is he not coming forward? The spirit shaman, I'm sure they were meant to. When you do that. Am I on the, I'm on the wrong corner, ah. I'm used to doing it down here. Maybe that's why. Well, that's how that goes. Okay. Alright, going to try again with a tribrid cell. I mean... Not like actual tribrid, but you know. Okay, well, wave one it was a lot easier with the tribrid. Got rid of the warband a lot quicker, so. I haven't figured out what the best style for each of these enemies is yet, though. Outside of the warband. Don't feel like Mage is doing too hot here. Go with the javelins. Okay, perfect. We got the Jaguar safe this time make this wave a lot easier if i can lower them out and separate them correctly okay please tell me i remember how to actually do this now there we go so i think melee is probably my best option for these guys as well if i'm not dealing with other enemies maybe not that's gonna get messy quick in it that took a while. Holy shit, that was a slow kill. Seven and a half minutes. And all we've got coming up is some Onyx Bolts. I mean, that's a lot of money, but we don't care about money. And it's probably not that much money in actual 
out quality anyway. I'm gonna take the rewards I've got. That felt like it's doable, but it's incredibly slow. So it's not really farmable as much as we can get a couple in. Uh, nice to have our first official KC though, although I don't suppose it counts the KC until you kill Sol Heredit, but you know, we got loot out of it, which is cool. We can get Sunfire Splinters here pretty much whenever we want now, which means we should always have the enhanced rate for our prayer training. Don't think, yeah, survive we need for that. We've got 941 glory. You need 2,000 to use the bank. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, nice to try it out, but I don't really think that's going to be an option for us for now. I'm feeling like I might just do some Slayer training, to be honest. That made me feel like my range level needs to be higher, and I don't hate just using the ring crossbow and broad bolts to get some Slayer tasks done in the wilderness. Uh, right now I have a Mammoth's task, which isn't exciting, but it'll be doable enough, I can get some XP out of it. And I, I think, honestly, I'm not too fussed for having to rush towards moons. If I think there's upgrades that are worth grinding out beforehand. And I'm wondering whether this dragon sword might just be worth it. So 62 slayer levels is still a fair bit away. We're on 55 at the minute. Seven levels to go. But it's going to be a slayer's a grind you have to do on any Iron Man eventually. All the best weapons in the game come from here pretty much. So I think I'm just going to make a head start on it and do some boring wildy slayer tasks off camera and get some slayer levels and some XP and some slayer points built up. Well, I did a couple wildy slayer tasks last night and by a couple, I mean I did the mouse task which took ages and then I got a moss giant task, killed about 10 of those and got PK'd and got sad. So I went to get the herb sack finished off and I've got the points for that now at Tithe Farm. Apparently you can't buy it till you have 58 herb lore. So now I have to get another herb all level. Anyway, I decided to do some winter tod and I've been doing this for the past sort of hour and a bit or so. Figured I'd turn the camera on even though I didn't set up my green screen and see what rewards we can get. Hoping for some herbs or any nice uniques. Herb seeds secondarily. A few moments later. Well that was awful. Well 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 folks, I finally have the herb sack. And I just tested it out as well. I have been to grimy lizards for a little bit, but the herbs were honestly not that good there. I was hoping they would be because I could sustain myself with the moonlight potions in the, the Potsley dungeon. But unfortunately, the, the herb drops were just not coming that fast. And the aggro was also really weird. Like, it was just taking ages for them to aggro me. So the AFK was not as good for the combat XP. I ended up just going back up to sofas to finish off my 80 defense. And then I just went and killed 100 Chaos Druids right now. And got about, it was already on 1,000. So about 2,006. 600 Herblar XP out of 100 Chaos Druids is what I earned there, which isn't terrible. So I literally just wore a combat bracelet of Sulphur Blades and a Strength Army and, <laughs> and took the Herb Pouch and went and killed them. Uh, so that may be a way for me to farm some herbs, but I'm here for like the next couple of hours before a RuneScape party starts. So I figured I'd go and do some more moons. I haven't been doing that many recently. Always good to get some KC in. But yeah, no major upgrades since last time we were here. Just did finish off that 80 defense, like I said. Don't think it's worth bringing the Sulphur Blades. Not till we have Dragon Plate Legs or something. Oh crap, I'm not on the right spellbook. I did do a few more Moss Giants as well, but nothing crazy happened. Please. Thank you. Oh. I think that's for getting it done before it goes through both of its specs. Yeah, defeat a moon before they start their second special attack. Oh my gosh, it's been like sub 50 for so long, it just keeps healing. That whole phase, it was like sub 50 HP. I should have summoned my thrall right at the start, but I thought I could finish it off. It doesn't matter how low it is, make sure you have a thrall. That's to me, I don't know why I said that in third person or second person or whatever it is. Whatever person. It was not too bad though, I didn't use that much food there. Perhaps that one extra defense level just makes enough of a difference. It does give me a plus 11 boost now instead of a plus 10. So I guess it is more like two levels technically, which is cool. I didn't notice that. 
I think this is chest number 13, not 100%. Yeah, 13, and it is a very juicy one. Lots of herbs there, very nice indeed. Oh, if I bank that, it's not going to figure it out until I go back. Okay, well, definitely going to stay here and farm for a bit. That was pretty chill. Feels a little easier than the other day. Just a marginal difference, but we weren't far off being at farm level the other day, so... Number 14. Some more irrit leaves. Maple seeds. For what it's worth, I think the most valuable drop we could get is the sex paddles. These mighty bad boys. These spanking paddles. If we got those, we'd be fucking laughing. Because those are fantastic at Huey. So it just gives me a good reason to farm Huey. Which I keep doing anyway. Whenever I'm bored and not sure what to do, I just go to Huey for a little bit and see if I don't get lucky on a key. Because if I do, then I might get lucky on the dragon plate legs and then everyone's happy. Well, everyone, I mean me, but... Not that I've been mad at any unique, that's just the most useful one I can think of off the bat. Maybe a Blue Moon Spear would be decent as a stab weapon here. I don't actually know what the stats are like on it. We'll have to compare it. Yeah, a lot of the gear here now we can wear. Or I guess not a lot of. One third of it. We can wear the Blood Moon gear. We can't wear the other gear yet. So we don't have the magical range levels respectively. Number 15. Another supply drop there. They are stacking up now, which is exactly what we wanted to see, really. I want to get another unique before this party starts, though. I've got just under two hours. I'm going to go for a smoke and then crack out another few. Sixteen. Not too interesting. Number seventeen. Nice seeds, at least. Chest number eighteen. Garbage. I'm getting way too overconfident now, just like going in with these supplies, like, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm sure I will be, but I don't know how I got this confident when a couple of days ago I was like, yeah, we're struggling. I mean, granted, I wouldn't go in with these supplies to blood, but the other two, I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever. They're annoying, they take a while. This one takes longer than the blue one, but none of them are dangerous. Even the blood's not that dangerous at this phase, at this stage. I'm just a little bit slower than you'd like them to be, but that's all. Nineteen. Come on, man. I'm just gonna squeeze one more in. I don't have much time left to play, but may as well get it up to around 20 before I stop for the night. All right, folks, chest number 20 about to come in. Still nothing exciting. Well... We've done alright for ourselves anyway today in just the loot that we've got here. Look at all these herbs. I'm really interested to see actually if we've got 3,600 banked currently. How much do we have when we actually update our bank? We're getting 8 chests tonight. I started on 12kc. So 3,600 to 15,000. We got 12k XP from 8 chests. So... Divide by 8, that means we're getting 1.5k per chest on average? 1.5k herb lore XP per chest? That's not bad at all. That is definitely not bad. I'm happy about that. I'll be even happier as the stacks continue to grow, of course. I do it's worth more than the Harrowlanders, but the Harrowlanders never bad to have because they make energy potions. Chest number 21. Is nothing. 22 23 Still nothing since that blood moon helm on the first chest Chest 24 Oh, 59 hunter there 25 Perilous champion. You know what, how about a cooking level as well? Just hold there's not enough. 26. I am dying for an item at this point. What the fuck is that? That is definitely the worst chest we've ever had. What the fuck is that? Jesus Christ. That's rough. That's rough. 
Oh, by the way, I feel like I should mention, I don't even know what it is at this point, but my Huey. Yeah, I'm on 234 Huey as well, for what it's worth. I've, I've been doing those sort of, like, passively off cam whenever I just have some downtime and want to go kill something in the hopes of getting those key halves that could get dragon legs for us. I also picked up blue dehyde. I uh, wouldn't kill some blue dragons for dragon hide. So upgrade my range so We've got to be June item soon. One in 19. And we've already had one, so technically we're not due one till 38 again. Like, that would be when we're... If we're past 38 chests, we are actually dry, but... Because it was the first one that we opened, it feels like we haven't had one in forever. People are all like, oh my god, you got one in your first chest, what the fuck, spooned. And then I just, yeah, I just don't get one since. That's, that's why it's not always that great to get one early. If it means a longer stint till the next one. I'm struggling right now, y'all. 27. Still not a... Well, folks, I just realised that the entire last clip or clips that I recorded didn't have audio on them. It's a good job I noticed before starting this recording, to be honest. So, little update, I found a pub on Alderin that sells Greenman's Ale, and that meant we could finally start Recipe for Disaster. I've also done the Goblin subquest for RFD. It's the only one we can get done, we can't do any of the others. Long story short, we have the bank chest in Lumbridge basement finally, but that's about it. So yeah, that was a cool discovery to make, because I never thought we'd have access to that, but we do. Anyway, I'm going to be heading back to Moon soon, but I remembered I had a couple of Laren's keys, so I thought I may as well just whack these out at the start of the recording before I go to Moon's. Garbage. Also garbage. And Lauren's keys are so underwhelming sometimes. Oh, I also went and got a bunch of prayer levels from buns that we had stacked up from doing moons. So yeah, we're up to 62 now, that's a nice little buff. Nothing like to unlock with prayer from this point forward until raid prayers, but still nice to have extra levels, get more out of our pots, so on. Well, I am going until I get an item tonight, and this is number 27. Not number 27. No, wait, that was 28. Only 27 on the track for some reason. Guess it's 28, so... 29. God damn. <laughs> That's 76 attack. The big three -er. Well, I hadn't turned the camera back on since I had a smoke break because I thought I'd wait until the chest and then I just got the speed trial task on that one. I uh, did the whole trip without stopping to top up on food or potions or anything. I just went through the whole thing. Good enough for the combat task. Chest 31, please. <laughs> chest number 33. Thirty-four. Someone in my Discord server just got a Blood Moon chest as well, so that one hurt extra bad. This grind to get an item is killing me all. Chest thirty-five. Ah, uh, three to the six. What the hell was that? 30 moons without leaving the dungeon. Right, yep, yeah, that makes sense. 37, please free me from this perilous prison. Ah. 79 hit points. The worst thing is, we're not even technically dry yet. Oh, are you kidding me? 1 HP? I'm not even doing shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, we got it. Must have been the thrall. Yeah, this is kill 37 about to come up. And 38 is actually on rate for our second item. It's just because it's been so fucking long because it was the first kill. 
that it feels like I'm twice over the drop rate. But I'm not. I'm still not actually on it yet. This kill will make me on it. And there's 76 strength. Jeez. Been here a whole attack and strength level. Alright, chest 38 officially drop rate for the second item. Please. Oh, yeah. 39. Come on. Big four. Uh... That is a lot of water orbs. Oh, I think I need a break. I said I was going to like got an item tonight, but this is honestly killing me all. I just need to go do something else for a bit. I don't think I'm going to be green logging this anytime soon. It's just too slow to get the items. It's really slow. Like each run takes around about 15 minutes and it could be closer to like seven or eight minutes consistently, even less than that, if I just had better levels or gear. So I feel like it's just going to make more sense to wait until our account's a bit more developed and then we'll be able to farm it much quicker. So that's currently where my head's at. I do want to get another unique. I wanted to get one this video, but honestly, I need to get a video out for y'all. But maybe I'll, I'll tack something exciting and rewarding onto the end of this once I think of something. Yeah, current state of mind is, uh, this is long. Well, I was close to finishing for the night and killed 252 of Huey. Finally got another key half. I'm praying that this one isn't a spinach roll. The absolute best thing would be dragon plate legs and dragon plate legs are the most common thing the chest drops. There's only one way to find out what we have. Please give me something good. I need it after all the dryness I've been having. I need a win here. Yeah, I mean, it's good money, but I don't care about money at the minute. The Sun Fire Splinters are more nice than the Room Plate body. A bit disappointing, and now I don't have any loop paths, so it's kind of pointless me trying to farm two paths until I get another loop path. Just spent the past hour or so getting some easy caskets, got three stacked up here, so just hoping for anything that gives me extra prayer bonus to go with the ancient robe bottoms we've been wearing. That's a trimmed. Thought it might be a holy thing, but no. That's garbage. And that's useless. Well, it wasn't that fun. At least we got a collection log. 41, I think. Yeah. Chest number 42. Jesus, we are so due at this point. Ridiculous. Another night, another hunt for a unique. Chest 43. Let's hope the grind's not too painful tonight. I did get myself a few more strength levels AFK while I edited everything in the video up to this point. So hopefully those make more of a difference. Maybe an extra attack level as well, I'm not sure. I think I already had that. I think this is chest 44? Yep. Uh, hit points level from the kill and a combat level. Number 45. Chest number 46, will they give me a unique just in time before 420? No, they fucking won't. I'm cursed, y'all. Chest number 47. Yeah. If I get to 50 and I still don't have a unique, I'm calling it. 48. Will number 49 be... The one. It will not. Last one now, folks. Unless I actually do get a unique, and then the lore of having to try for a back-to-back -back does probably take precedence. We yeah, am ready to be out of here. The reason being, I just, I don't think it's efficient for us to be farming this when it's not as efficient as it could be. You know, if I do this on my main account, I basically eat like once 
twice per fight maybe and that just means so much less restock time transitional time time spent from their negative effects when they hit you like i'd rather be closer to that position before i come back here i think which isn't a long long way away it's just further away than we are right now and rather than just grinding out the levels for ages i want to try and get this slay level up so we can at least look in the general direction of a dragon sword and i want to figure out a way to get some dragon plate legs because we've tried a few different methods here and there but it's a drop that's eluded us so far and if we could get some dragon plate legs we would be in such a good position those extra defense levels at this point i've noticed every little bit of difference that comes with my defense levels so just a few extra bits always gonna be appreciated well that was it last one for now on this is going to be the end of the episode 50th lunar chest hopefully it gives us a unique but at this point i've lost hope so let's have a look at this shit item roll yeah this has been an episode of dryness and struggle and poverty and well not really poverty we're kind of rich as fuck at the minute but the other things yes we've gained some decent levels at least we're into the 1500 bracket now which is pretty decent but i'm not gonna be coming back here for a while no not until i've got some red upgrades i'm sick of wearing blue it's not really cutting it i want some red stuff to replace the blue stuff and then i can feel good and stuff about stuff you beautiful bastard. Anyway, yeah, bit of a weird episode, I know, I know. But we did get a fair few things done. Next time we're going to have a lot of things to slay. We've got Grey Demon's task to start out with, Wilderness of course, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, got a lot of slayer to do on the menu. See you next time. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you are enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.